What is going on everybody and um, I'm not sure if this part is going to be in a different vlog or if it's going to be all just one vlog but today we have something cool going on. Polly is going to be coming over to the house. We're going to be going to catch minnows put inside of my pond and also his pond because obviously both of us want more minnows. No matter what we have it is not enough. So we got our supplies right here. Handy dandy net. We got our special bucket, not really special, and we need some bread. So I'm gonna have to go inside, get some bread, and I will meet you guys out at the back of my house when Paul gets here and we're gonna go catch some minnows. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Great, I gotta shoot an intro. Dude, this brings back some memories, huh? Yeah, it does, huh? Except for now, uh, we have a lot of stress and a lot of responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> More responsibilities for me, not a lot of stress for me, because he's got bills to pay. 700 animals and Bills to pay. But yeah, look at this. Holy smokes, Paul. Oh my goodness. What it... I don't know if they can even see it. That looks like a giant going on of tadpole. <laughs> it honestly, you know what it looks like? Ow, dude. A pot of mullet. It does. It really looks They're like actually. a pot of mullet. What is going on, Charles? Welcome back to another video. You know what? Moldy bread is just so much better than anything else on earth. I'm just kidding, I dude. Really <laughs> I could smell the mold. Ooh. Right? Yeah. But anyways, I just tanked myself right into the water. If you wanna watch that, you gotta you gotta watch. You know what? I'll send you the clip and you can roll it right now. No, no, no. I'll get a little sneak peek, but then they gotta watch your video to We're see. We're gonna it. cut it halfway down the hill. Halfway down? Yeah, you get a flower in your hair. The tadpoles are I'm gonna go in the water real quick, but look how many minnows are right here. I've never seen this many tadpoles in my canal before. I I don't even think you can see it on camera to be honest. Anyways, we filmed an instant viral TikTok for Paul. That's gonna go up in uh, probably before this video, to be honest. Look at that moldy bread, man. It just looks so tasty, huh? Mm. But you're telling me when we throw this bread, it's just gonna be on action? Well, we might have to wait like 30 seconds, but after that, it should be completely black. Hopefully, we'll see. Some of the minnows are really stupid here. <laughs> Look at them all. There's so many. Let's throw a piece over there. That was kind of instant. They started going off. This one. Oh, they're going at it. They're going at it. I think they smelled the mold in that one, Paul. Probably did. Send it. You ready? You got one cow minnow on it. Got to send it. We want that. We want that. Got him. We got him. Got him all got day. Him. Oh, there he is. There he is. Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey. We're bringing all these back to Paul's house, by the way. Sick. Where's the cow minnow? Oh, 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 there he is. There he is. I have like five of these in my pond and one's freaking giant. Look at him. Beautiful specimen. How majestic. We got some stuff going on. We absolutely clumpered them that time. I don't even know what clumpered is. I don't even know if that is a word. Is it a word? Probably not. Probably not. This is a nice camera, man. There you go. Try. Hold both cameras. Can you oh, do it? Oh. oh. <laughs> Can I do it? Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Got him. All day, baby. Got him. You know, it was probably just low key uh, a tadpole. No, no, no. She's beautiful. I got a very good looking cow minnow here. I was, I'm really bad at doing this. Look at that. Dick. That's a pretty big one, right? Dude, the one I have in my pond is probably three times the size of that thing. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh my god, imagine. <laughs> Thunk, <hit the> camera. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. This is what uh, mine and Paul's viral TikTok consisted of. Come down here, Paul. Dude, that is ridiculous. That's the craziest thing ever. Wow. That was a lot. So we actually finished up. We are just messing around for a little bit. Got and a couple minnows. Yeah, we decided we're just going to head back to Paul's house, put these inside of his pond. I think the Oscars are going to go crazy, dude. I'm sure they will. I'm sure you're... We can feed the flower horns, too. Oh, yeah. They're going to go nuts. But we got some bigger ones in there. The mollies. And then... That's pretty much it. We're just gonna go back to his house, feed him. We'll see you when we get there. So we are at Polly's house. Just 
sits there with the spin out of the water. That's exactly what mine would do, too. Really? Yeah. Hi! They're pissed. Oh, I'm gonna hand feed one. <laughs> it's so cool, dude. Ah! This thing is crystal clear in here. Oh, they just destroyed them. Catfish are going crazy down there because they smell stuff. Hi, buddy. Dude, that Oscar is pretty big. Oh, 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 yeah. Dude, they're aggressive. All right. Oh, my. Oh, I got them all. Oh, there it is. I got them all. Every single one out of this thing. Here we go, film it on the GoPro so I can get underwater. Oh, oh, right here. Oh, oh. let's see if the guard. Oh. I don't even know what to film. Look at him, look at him chasing. Oscar's are going Put the camera nuts. under the water. Oh my goodness. Thumps right here. Oh my! Oh. it. Oh! Right in front of the camera. Look at them all. They're all hiding in here, and our catfish is whiskers. He's right there. He's ready to eat. I gotta feed him some shrimp. But all the minnows are gonna hide in here once. I hope you guys liked this segment. The sun is absolutely blinding me right now. But I hope you guys like this segment of the video, getting some minnows, bringing them to Paul's house, feeding his fish. I'm sure you guys like to see Paul in the videos because that is who I started filming with. Oh, this is new. I haven't been over here since he got this built. This is where his whole filtration system is. He's got his heater, pump, filtration system, UV, power supply up there, everything. Everything that he would need is inside of this kind of small like barn type of deal. Just like that, we made it back to my house where my big pond is, as you guys can see in the background. Not totally finished yet. I know you guys are probably still wondering why it's not finished and I just had a lot of projects that I have been going on and it's been pretty cold. I didn't want to put any new fish in here and I didn't want to do any landscaping other than what I have because it's pretty cold. It's been pretty cold and I just did not want to, you know, have a chance of the plants dying. I'd rather do it when it starts getting warmer like it is now. I could probably finally start putting the plants that I want to around the pond. But enough of that, what I wanted to do is shed some light on you guys and just tell you whatever the little things that you're going on in life just the little things i'm not talking about the big things just the little things it is just temporary it is nothing it nothing in this life is 100 percent guaranteed and i know it firsthand from plenty of times but this just past weekend my buddy just passed away. He had brain cancer for two years. He had a tumor and then it pretty much almost went away and then they stopped chemo because the doctor said that they could and it came back and spread all in his brain and it was just, he was too fragile because they have already done so much to him that they didn't want to do anything else and then just completely fry his brain to where there's nothing left of it but I spent a lot of time with this kid and it really sucks to see one of your friends pass away and nothing is guaranteed in this life that's what I want to say nothing is guaranteed take nothing for granted because nothing is gonna be there forever and that is guaranteed that nothing is going to be there forever. That's the only part about life that's 
guaranteed. If you guys want to help in any sort of way, I'll have the GoFundMe link in the description if you guys want to go and maybe donate $1, $5, whatever you guys want to donate. Anything would honestly help. His mom's going to have to come out of pocket for the funeral. It's been two years that he has been struggling. He's been working his ass off to, you know, overcome what happened and sadly his journey ended and I'm honestly just glad that the pain and suffering is gone because he was through a lot. He has been through a lot which really took a toll on him and his body. I want you all to go and talk to somebody that you haven't talked to in a while, whether it be a family member, a friend, somebody that you guys have not been friends with for a while because something happened. Little things are so dumb to get mad at and you just need to spread po positivity and that's it. You just really need to be a happy person and just let everybody know that you're, you want to be fun and you want to do something that's fun. You know, nobody wants to be that person that's all mad and angry all the time. You want to be happy, spread positivity because that also brings positivity into your life. It'll attract people that are positive into your life. That is all I have for you guys. I will see you in my next video. Love you all. Peace out.